Coming up on Lloyd and Mandy. I'm really happy we didn't drive the tuk-tuk down here because there's a full-size truck coming up. I'm not sure what we would have done. It is a pretty epic uh, view here. I don't know if the camera really picks it up totally. But you definitely have to visit it for yourself. Yeah, it's like this amazing bridge surrounded by a jungle. There's like palm trees and mountains. This tuk tuk driver's got just a bottle of Jameson. <laughs> what is this? Being a nomad is not a vacation. It's freedom, but it's also discipline. It's an exchange of security for enhanced experiences. It's a way of life. watching our channel for a while now, you will know that we really prioritize a good night's sleep. I'm lucky to be a heavy sleeper, but poor Lloyd, he really struggles with it. Our lifestyles make it extra challenging to feel rested. We're constantly sleeping on trains, planes, buses, swapping from Airbnbs to hotels, so we are always looking for extra help with sleep. So when we discovered Manta Sleep, we were so excited to finally find something that actually worked for Lloyd. But since then, I've started using Manta Sleep as well. We've both started using their sound mask, which is the most comfortable Bluetooth sleep mask in existence. We love it, we listen to our sleep meditations before we go to sleep every night, and we've been sleeping so much better because of it. The best thing about this mask is that it's completely blackout. So if you wanna take a nap during the day or while you're traveling, it makes it that much easier to fall asleep. We also have their inflatable travel pillows, which are awesome. I love them because they don't take up as much space in your luggage when you aren't using it, and the cover itself is so soft. If you are looking to improve your quality of sleep, go over to their website and check them out. They have thousands of five-star reviews, and if you're interested in buying one of these masks, use code LM10 at checkout and you'll get 10% off your order. Thanks so much for listening, and let's get into this episode. Guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to Ella. We just spent the last few hours at a place called Chill Cafe because the Wi-Fi has been pretty hit and miss pretty much everywhere. Uh, it's been a, well, Lloyd says just miss. <laughs> it's been a bit of a struggle for work. Uh, something to keep in mind if you are coming to Sri Lanka, pretty unreliable, drop out a lot. But this place called Chill Cafe, it was the best Wi-Fi that we've had so far since we've been here. So worth coming. We're gonna spend the next few days exploring around Ella. It's, so far the weather's been incredible. It's nice and cool here and um, Lloyd says it's his favorite place we've been to so far which is a bold statement for him I think. I'm just gonna see what else we can find around here. It's so beautiful like way way nicer than we ever expected and more happening. A lot of people around, lots of tourism. It's beautiful. We woke up to the most incredible view this morning. Had to be one of the most beautiful sunrises coming right in through the window. We sat and had a tea and then did yoga uh, just in the sun and then um, had like a really, really nice traditional Sri Lankan breakfast cooked for us. It was an incredible way to start the day. 
Happy we got our work done so we can now go explore. I'm absolutely loving the climate here. Yesterday we actually had to put like jumpers and pants on for the first time since we've been in Sri Lanka. <laughs> and during the day, it's like kind of mild, but like, I don't know, mid twenties maybe. Haven't been sweating like I have every other place we've been in Sri Lanka. <laughs> it's very comfortable, yeah, in comparison to pretty much everywhere else in Southeast Asia. We've just come to the famous Nine Arch Bridge here in Ella. It's the main attraction that you see all the photos of. We just got told this very bumpy drive in here. So we just decided to walk instead and it's only 700 meter walk, so not too bad. It's a very beautiful walk. The landscape of Ella is just incredible. It's tea plantations, beautiful flowers everywhere. It's just stunning. Okay, yeah, I'm really happy we didn't drive the tuk-tuk down here because there's a full-size truck coming up. I'm not sure what we would have done. Yeah, it would have been really stressful, hey? <laughs> yeah on a big hill with just cars and trucks coming at you and it's single lane. Not really sure what they do. Um, they must have some way of figuring it out. <laughs> you don't want to do this in the tuk tuk. Man, I'm, I'm so happy we didn't drive a tuk. This is so steep and narrow. It would have just been an anxiety attack <laughs> the whole time. You have to get out and push as well. Oh my god. You're so grateful right now. That would have been you pushing. <laughs> no way. And they're guys who have been driving tuk-tuks their whole life. Yeah, way better than us. Ah, oh, there's the bridge. We're probably getting a tuk tuk up, right? <laughs> yeah. But I'll have to push. <laughs> Today was our first time seeing a jackfruit tree. I didn't know what a jackfruit tree looked like. <laughs> Lloyd said that it looks like someone just put jackfruit in a tree because <laughs> it doesn't look like it belongs there. I definitely agree. <laughs> They're so big. This doesn't feel right, does it? This is not what I pictured. No, neither. I actually thought we were just driving the tuk tuk to a bridge. Same. Now we're on this like crazy hike. Mud hike. <laughs> with thongs on. <laughs> Always underprepared, Lloyd and Mandy signature. <laughs> no research. That's it. <laughs> Done? Just, yeah. Yeah. Oh God, it's pretty feel with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Worth the trick. <laughs> Worth the 
but we made it and it's pretty cool. It's worth the trek. There's probably about 100 people here just waiting for a train, I think, getting photos. I wonder if I can fly the drone in. There's no signs or anything. Scratch that. Damn. Would have been an epic shot. No drones. Oh, I deserve a sign. No. There's some pretty incredible accommodation up on the hills here overlooking the, the train tracks. Just up here, not sure if you can see. Pretty amazing view. I would definitely recommend looking into something like that, from what you're saying here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to find out what time the train comes so we can wait for it. <clears throat> it says it's approximately six times a day and times vary. And it also depends on how much fuel is available. Oh. <laughs> so, so basically uh, we have no idea. <laughs> we'll see what happens. It could be any time. Yeah. We'll give it a while. I'm sure if we ask a local they'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's coming soon. <laughs> it's all tea plants down here. It's so pretty. It's like really similar to Bali. They've got like rice paddies everywhere, but here it's tea trees or tea plant, what do you call them? Tea plantations? Tea plantations everywhere. It looks real nice. Mm. It is a pretty epic uh, view here. I don't know if the camera really picks it up totally, but. You definitely have to visit it for yourself. Yeah, it's like, this amazing bridge, surrounded by a jungle. There's like palm trees and mountains, and it's on a bend, and it's really cool. It probably is going to look really cool when a train comes past. Hopefully, we get some warnings so and we can get off the track. We're right in the middle of the track right now. <laughs> we're we'll trying to find some stock drone footage to put in here. I'm sure there'll be some. Coming here, just remember that ignorance leads to suffering. Don't be ignorant. Okay, the train's coming and it's a mad scramble, everyone's running off the tracks to make sure they don't get hit. I have no idea which way it's coming from. People still running to get off the tracks, and it's almost here. Funny, we literally had just decided we we're gonna wait 20 minutes and then we we're gonna leave and then it came. Yeah. It's funny how things can end up as tourist attractions. <laughs> like, this is just a, a bridge that was obviously built for necessity to get this train through. 
And now hundreds of people come here every day just to watch a train drive past. <laughs> I love it. They could charge entry, honestly. Yeah. The tourist police just blew a whistle and even the dog that was sleeping on the train tracks knew what that meant. <laughs> now the epic trek back up to the top. Do you reckon we take a tuk-tuk up or should we walk? We'll see how much they want to charge it. Okay. If it starts raining it'll be very interesting because it's quite muddy already. It'll be very slippery. <laughs> if you're going to come do this I suggest wearing proper shoes probably. <laughs> Oh. How much to the top? 500. 500. Done. Okay. <laughs> Best 500 rupees we ever spent. Yeah. This tuk-tuk driver's got just a bottle of Jameson. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. <laughs> we're gonna use him. <laughs> or use him. <laughs> so something that I just noticed, um, that was probably the most touristy thing that you can do, I think, in Sri Lanka, at least one of them. There doesn't seem to be any animosity or like frustration towards tourists. In comparison to the, a lot of other countries that we visited that um, when you go do the touristy things there's a lot of trying to rip you off, a little bit of uh, frustration towards tourists. There isn't that here at all. It feels so welcoming everywhere. Like the Sri Lankan people are so beautiful. They're like just, just something I thought I would note. Like I've really noticed the difference in comparison to other countries that we've been to. And that might be because it's not overly busy at the moment maybe it gets different in a more peak season but uh yeah a little bit different Okay, we're just about to head to a place called Badula. It says it's about 45 minutes away, but we're gonna account for that to be double, <laughs> judging by everywhere else that we've been has been double the time. It's meant to be very, very beautiful. We're gonna probably get something to eat there and just check it out. I'm not really sure what to expect. Lloyd's planned this, so uh, yeah, should be a surprise for all of us. I actually got given a suggested itinerary from the uh, Tuk Tuk rental place. Um, and it just suggested while we're in Ella to check out Badula town. I think there's a lot of like temples and stuff there and it's a bit of an ancient city so hopefully there's someone to get something to eat because I'm not eating breakfast, I'm gonna eat lunch and it's probably gonna take us over an hour to get there so I'll be hungry by the time we get there. The tea plantations here are absolutely beautiful. Yesterday when we drove past, there was people working in them. There's nobody working today. But the weather today is just perfect, like perfect temperature. I'd say it's probably like maybe 24 degrees, maybe 25. So comfortable, sun shining, very, very blessed. Yeah, 
Ya. Oh, that's delicious. Wow. It, no, it's it's so good. Mm. Very sweet. Very up. nice. Kitul, kitul. What's it called? Kitul, kitul. Kitul, kitul. What is it? From this tree? Okay. And it comes from the tree. Ah, okay. Beautiful. Very tasty. And you made? Very it's, nice. Tastes like um, maple syrup. Yeah, but better. Very good. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was so good. That was so cool. I just was standing far away trying to get some video of that temple and this man just welcomed me in. Doesn't speak English, but that was pretty special. Everyone seems to really want to share things and actually show you their way of life. It's so beautiful. Okay, we've made it to Badula. Uh, Lloyd's just looking for a cafe for us to have breakfast. The bananas were awesome, but haven't filled me up. I'm very hungry today. Uh, so we'll see if we can find a nice cafe here. Lloyd will get a coffee, uh, and then we'll just explore around the town, see what's in here. So far, friendly people, everyone's waving as always, feeling very welcome. To uh, wait, where are we? Badula. Badula. Um, and I just need a coffee to wake me up a little bit. So we stopped in at this local cafe here. It's not too much on the menu really for breakfast though. So Mandy's gonna get a juice, I'm gonna have a coffee, and then we're gonna head somewhere else for breakfast and then um, maybe do a bit of sightseeing here in Badula. It actually only took about half an hour to get here, which was very surprising. So we'll check it out. I think there's some temples and things like that to do.
Okay, we just drove back from Badula town. Um, honestly, not too sure why we recommended to go there. Like, it was kind of beautiful, but there wasn't like too much to do. There is some waterfalls in the area, so maybe that's why, but uh, it's gonna rain very soon, so. It was a really nice drive out there though, so I'm kind of glad we did that. And we stopped off at that fruit stand, which was pretty cool. So we're just getting some breakfast now back in Ella. Man, there is like so many cafes and restaurants here in Ella. Honestly, this is what I was expecting Weligama to be more like. Um, there's so many places to eat, but we just came to Rainbow Cafe, who was recommended to us by one of our Instagram followers, Carolina W, thank you. Uh, it looks really good. There's like a couch and a chill out spot and there's vegan options. We're not vegan, but if you are, there's options for you here. That has to be the most beautiful smoothie bowl I've ever seen. <laughs> smoothie heart plate. <laughs> Lovely. We got the tacos. Not quite as pretty, but still looks delicious. <laughs> such a cool little town, it has the best vibe. This is how we reverse in Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Come to back. Meet you. We, we will. will. Yeah. And we'll send lots of people too. Okay. Thank you, madam. Okay. See you. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> Push. Yes. Ah. Are. Oh my God. Newton. <laughs> it's fine. Yes. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's such a good goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're blocking the whole driveway. <laughs> Alright, we just got to the train station. We are catching the train actually halfway to Candy from here. We're gonna have a quick stopover for a couple of nights. So tuktukrentals.com, they actually let you get a train and they organize a transfer. So somebody's gonna meet us here and they're gonna drive the tuk-tuk and meet us on the other side so we can get the train, which is pretty cool. It's about 50 bucks to do that and they even leave you with a full tank of gas and everything. It gives us a chance to break up the trip like from just driving everywhere. We wanna get this train ride because it's I think the most scenic train ride in Sri Lanka about three hours. So we're getting the train to a place called Nu Nuara Elia. Uh, it's like halfway between Ella and Candy and it's known as like Little England. There's lots of tea plantations and like really old English style hotels and stuff so we'll just check that out for a couple of days and then drive to Candy after that. I think it's about three hours from here to the airport train. So who are we looking for here? Uh, this guy he sent me a photo on WhatsApp. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Hello. You can tell that the street dogs in Ella are well taken care of because they're so kind. And they love love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we're good. It's just like none of the names match up, which is weird. And that happened last time. <laughs> <laughs> this is Badula, which is where we were yesterday. Yeah. Leaving Badula at 10.15. That's not here. I guess maybe it is here. And then going to Nanu Oya. That's not what I said before, is it? No. Oh. Hopefully we make it. I booked it on 1-2-Go Asia. They haven't really done us wrong yet. 
observation class, which um, I mean, it must be a good view, observation class. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Hopefully. Um, Hi, Hello, Mom. Good Mandy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, how did you get here? Where did you come from? By bus. From uh, no religions. Nanoi. You're going to Nanoi. That's where we're going? Yeah, yeah. So you carry a bus down yeah, there yeah. and you drive back? Yeah. Do you reckon that's when it's coming or that's when it's coming? Uh, maybe this is when it's coming. Let's just be here and we'll just get on whenever we can. Uh, this actually, this is not your train. Yes. This train comes into here 11. 11. 11. 11, you know. 10, 30 maybe come here and you can come inside. Okay. okay. Let's go across the did we buy the wrong ticket? Yeah. Unfortunately, we have the wrong ticket, so we have two hours to kill now. Just gonna go maybe have a tea. Lloyd might have a coffee. Get a bit more time in Ella than we thought, which is kind of nice. I was a bit sad to be leaving here because it's so, like, the nature is so nice here. It's so lush. Peaceful sounds, monkeys everywhere. It's so lovely. Definitely recommend coming to Ella. All right, we're back at our favorite spot here in uh, Ella. We've been here every day, yeah? Yeah, We came here for dinner last night. It was really good and it, was, it gets really packed. It's got the best Wi-Fi here. The food's awesome, the service is good. We'll leave a link for it down below because um, it's our favorite restaurant in Ella and I think it's probably the most popular restaurant in Ella, judging by how many people were here last night. <laughs> Try this again, huh? Try this again, 11 11. I'm not sure why it booked this a ticket from Badula. Hey! Hey, you again! Hi, sweetheart! You keep following me around. You should do. Uh, the street dogs here are you know, like, they seem more domesticated or something than They're Thailand way more and Bali. They're, they seem to be very well taken care of. Yeah, they don't get treated like shit, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I have no idea what he called this, but it's very sour and it's got like seeds in it. It's kind of like a small, almost pomegranate or passion fruit. It's really nice.
Well, it was about three and a half hours, which is what it said, actually. Just that we, I think, got the wrong ticket. We got here a bit later than we thought. Mm. Do you need a lift? Yeah, I'm moving to the moon. Yeah. I'm over the roof. Yeah, you want to drive? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> yeah. I don't have cool. to drive. Uh, it's time we're... for bed. <laughs> <laughs> just don't know where we're going. Okay, we're just on the hunt for somewhere to sleep tonight now. We're both exhausted. We've been up since probably 4.30. Didn't have the best sleep. And traveling is just always so exhausting. So hopefully we can find a hotel that will have a room available. I'm sure we will. We just had lunch, thanks. There's a cricket on there. So loud. Best 500. What is it? Rupees. <laughs> Got varnish all over me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do. Remember when I did that? Yeah. It's the thickest fog, isn't it? You barely see about two meters in front of me. <laughs> TukTukRentals.com. So where we're getting the train to is called 